Um, we may have a problem. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the Monday Market, where we talk about last week in real estate. I'm your host, Connor Kolchup from Remax, and woo, from August 31st to September 7th, things are still escalating. Who saw that coming? <laughs> so, we've had 26 new listings. We had 11 properties come back on the market, which is a really high number for that statistic. We had 27 properties become conditionally sold. 36 people got keys to their new places this week, which is incredible. We had five price decreases. We had a wild 16 price increases. We're gonna come back to that. And 11 canceled listings. Okay, so the numbers are pretty good. In fact, they're pretty great and they've been consistently great. But we need to talk about those 16 price increases because if that number didn't stick out to you, it really should have. New buyers can breathe a small sigh of relief as all the price increases from this week uh, were actually for new builds only. But we're going to come back to the new buyers at the end of the video, so they're not completely off the hook. Build prices have spiked right now, to put it simply. And to make sure you understand how hard these changes have hit us, a property in Port Elgin went from $457,000 to $555,000 in a day. Another one went from $497,000 to $602,000. That's a $100,000 price increase in a day. So when I saw this, I got really, really worried. So I started making phone calls. I talked with several local builders from around our community. I talked with a commercial builder down in Toronto, and I also got a hold of a developer in Kitchener. And everybody had exactly the same story, that the price increase is because, well, of raw materials. The cost of raw materials are escalating to an all-time high. Labor costs have increased, sure, but the main problem here is the material cost, which the builders can't control. A sheet of wood, for instance, was running local builders around here uh, $14, whereas now it costs them $26. And that's still before they pay the trades to put it in your house. That is nearly a doubling of material costs, which will always come back to the consumer, unfortunately. And like I said, this remains true throughout most of Ontario, with uh, the biggest culprits of why the price is increasing, it's actually the price of wood has escalated to just brand new heights. So new builds that were already quoted out will likely be okay and only see small increases. But projects that are just starting out are gonna see huge spikes. And this is concerning because resale homes, which we talked about with the new buyers, are already way up as well. So here's a look at all of Canada to show you how prices have changed uh, from last year specifically. And important to note, this only covers July. So we are still expecting to see a big, big increase as the material cost happened more recently. So our local area is around a 19.1% increase, which is much higher than the Canadian average, but as you can see is in line with most of Ontario. A lot of people were saying that we were going to see a market crash and the prices will drop and things will get a lot better. But so far, the stats simply don't support that. Mortgage, late, mortgage rates are at a historic low and prices are already looking like they're going to continue to increase, which means the time to buy would actually be now. Mortgage rates really can't drop any lower as it is. And if the prices are increasing, it's a good time to get going. So with all that being said, it might even be a good idea for new buyers to look at seeing if they can get into the market now. And that is going to be where me and my team come in. So if you want help buying or selling in a market that seems to be ever escalating and ever changing, you can give me a call at 519-386-5745 or email me at connor at remax-lx.ca. And there you have it for your Monday market, folks. I hope this information was helpful to you guys. And if it was, consider subscribing or leaving a like, it helps out a lot. But either way, I will still be right here next week for your next installment of The Monday Market. Hope you guys are having a good week and stay safe out there. Talk again soon.